Hello fellow hunters, welcome to Grunge Haunts and Props. My name is Chris Leonardo and today we are going to be making resin skulls. Uh, we're going to be slush casting resin skulls using our silicone molds uh, that we made in the previous video. Um, and uh, we're going to be using the Smooth On 325 translucent resin. And we're going to be doing a crackle paint effect on top of the skull and using a lamp inside uh, which which uh, creates a really cool effect. Um, we actually sold out of these at Crypticon this year. So uh, follow along and enjoy the video. All right, so we are going to be doing, um, it's called uh, slush casting. Um, and we're going to be using the Smooth On 325 Smooth Cast. And this is a, just a fast acting resin and uh, this will allow us to do <clears throat> multiple coats um, and do it in a timely manner. So uh, this one's pretty easy, straightforward. First step is you're either going to want to put uh, either some sort of release spray, release agent or you can even just do baby powder. I'm gonna go ahead and just do baby powder in here and pour that in. Then I'm just gonna use a dry brush to kind of brush it around. And I also want to attach the back side of this mold. Again, just, just kind of brushing it everywhere. All the details. Shake it around, then I'm gonna dump this over into the garbage can. And then I'm gonna use an air compressor just to blow out any other excess out of here. Okay, now we're going to use several rubber bands to Keep the outer shell and mold in place here. Now we're gonna get some flashing, it's just gonna happen. Just try and limit that as much as possible here. Okay, and so, so these little popsicle sticks, I always cut the rounded end square so that we can easily stir the bottom of the cup. These things have, uh, these have to be mixed extremely well. And you only have two and a half minutes to do it. Okay. And as soon as we pour these together, we start the clock for two and a half minutes.
aren't really gelling yet, so I'm just trying to coat everything. I definitely need to be doing this over a bucket or something. It's making a mess. Once it gets to the point where it's pretty solid, I'm gonna just leave it over this bucket for a few minutes and let it drain. Now we're gonna wait and let this partially cure and then we'll get our next uh, batch in there. Okay, while this is setting up, you always look at the, the witness cup and uh, it's looking like it's pretty well, pretty gelled. So we're gonna go ahead and, it's not completely hard yet, so but uh, it's fine. We don't want it to be. So we're ready to go ahead and start with the second layer here. All right, and we're gonna let this one sit for a little bit longer and then start our next next one. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the third and final layer here. All right, so we're looking at the witness cup and yep, mostly gelled. So we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for an hour before we demold it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see if we try to uh, demold this. And uh, hopefully we're not gonna be breaking this part. And I can still reuse this mold. Well, um, you know, that looks pretty good. Our 
guys, I mean, it's it's frosted, um, and there's a little bit of flashing that I have to take care of here. But other than that, um, it's a pretty decent mold. So we'll just cut some of the flashing off. You know, this is actually a pretty good casting. Now, again, unfortunately, I will have to make a whole nother mold just for resin. But that glove mold worked pretty well. I've only ever seen this done in a two part. So that glove mold actually works really well for the skull. And it's pretty, it's got decent thickness. Okay, well, there it is. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the resin skull all finished here. I am going to I'm try to do a crackle paint on this and see how this is going to look. Um, you can see, I mean, this really has a lot of bu bubbles, right? Um, so this, we're certainly not selling this piece, but for proof of concept, um, we should hopefully see if this works. I want to see if the, um, the gloss crystal clear acrylic lacquer will even though it's clear, still allow the the crackle, Montana crackle paint, spray paint, um, allow it to crackle and do its thing. Um, because it doesn't really work very well unless you have a kind of a somewhat freshly painted surface and it has to be a, some sort of acrylic lacquer. So, um, so we're gonna try this and see how this works. So we're gonna do a couple layers of this. Okay, so we touch it, it's not fully dry, it's still a little bit tacky, but this is exactly perfect. We, after putting a second coat on, we waited about 20 minutes. About, wait, about 15, 20 minutes, and it's still gonna be somewhat fresh, but mostly dry. And now we're gonna do the crack of paint on top of it. And I'm just gonna do it on the back side just to see if it even works. Well, it appears to be kind of working. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna have, gonna work. I don't know. It looked like it was working in the back, but. Now, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's working. I know you can't see it on the screen, but the crackle is is working on the skull at the moment. So there are you know, sections of clear skull. So we're gonna let this dry again and then uh, put a light in there and see what it looks like. Okay, so I bought these little, um, I guess, uh, LED flashing lights here and well, with a little base so you can place the Crackle spill right on top of there, and it lights up just like that. And here's what it looks like with the lights on. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Ring that bell if you want to get notifications anytime we put out new content. I thank you for watching, and as always, happy haunting!